What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition program with us TV. In our previous tutorials, C Sharp and VB.net, we've actually covered a lot of Windows Form projects, okay? However, we haven't done the WPF, Windows Presentation Foundation, that much. So, in fact, from today, we're going to be doing a lot of them as well as the Windows Form, okay? WPF is a relatively newer technology, but also the more powerful okay it actually has inbuilt hardware acceleration and it allows us of course to build modern user interfaces with c sharp as well as vb.net so we're going to start small and in fact today we're just going to see how we can bind a simple list box of course from an array bind it to an array and then handle the item click events we'll do this one of course in wpf so i'm going to introduce you guys to a project like this one in a practical manner okay so this is what we're going to build right here okay so let's get started so first and foremost come right here to your templates choose the visual c sharp okay because we're building a c sharp application then of course come choose the cs as our project folder then of course we have several templates we will go of course with the wpf application the windows presentation foundation client application so give it a name specify the location then click ok just make sure you choose the wpf application so first and foremost we're going to have something like this one right here okay you can see we have this of course is our interface so you can see we have two files open the main window.xaml as well as the main window.xaml.cs so basically in the main window.xaml this is how we're going to design our application and in fact we can see we have of course the designer right here so far our designer is empty except that it has the title then of course below it we have of course this particular xaml code okay so basically xaml is an extension to xml uh, for microsoft so you can see of course we have the window at our root element then of course we've actually specified the title okay the title right here we've given it a custom title we've given it a height we can get of course we've given it a width you are free to of course change these ones then you can see these are basic project structure we have the app that XAML, then then the main window to XAML. so we're going to be interested in this main window to XAML, okay because in we're going to be writing our code in this main window .xaml.cs. now if we come to the toolbox right here you're going to see that we have several widgets or several components which we can go ahead and add into our project okay so these are our components for wpf so we can actually drag them and then add them so you can either do that one or to me the approach that I normally like is to come and then type them directly right here okay I find it more intuitive so for example I can come and specify a grid grid and then of course we close it then once we've specified the grid then we can go ahead and then specify a label so you can see in the label we have of course our content now this is like the nebulous is the text property then of course we have the horizontal alignment the margin the vertical alignment the full to it etc then below it we're going to have of course a list box so this is a list box right here you can see this is the name of the list box and then we also have of course um right here we have this selection changed property this is actually the event for our list box okay we're going to be listening to the selection change event and then this is our event handler so basically event handler is a method which will create which will be handling our selection changed now this method right here whatever we type right here will have to create it in our code okay so yeah this is of course the basic design for our project okay and in fact we have treasure so the next step is that you come over to this particular main window that sample so you can see first is a partial class public partial class main window and then is deriving from the window class this of course will represent a single window wpf window then first and foremost as a uh, a private instance field we're going to have this particular array okay this read only array of strings 
which we are calling nebulas these array as you guys can see contains our nebulas okay a nebula right here so we have several nebulas these are what we're going to bind of course into our list box so we create a method to do that one the method we're calling it bind list box so we'll bind our data of course to our list box doing that one is very easy all you have to do is assign that particular array to our item source property of our list box so my list box that item source equal to nebula and that's it then of course we can then go ahead and create our event handler just make sure that your event handler is taking in an object which is our sender as well as our selection changed event args now what will we do well when the selection item selection changes we're going to show the selected item in our message box how do we get it well we get it from the selected item property of our list box and then we cast it to a string then of course we have the constructor for this particular class public main window first we'll have the initialize component and then secondly the bind list box now you may wonder where is this initialize component coming from well the initialize component is actually called that is generated for us okay you can see we have another file app.xml so we have the app.xml xml.cs and then you can see under the app we have this initialize component so these are code that is being generated for us by virtual studio you really don't have to go uh, and modify it however you can also study it okay so the designer is going to generate for us all this particular code however for our sake what we're interested in is this code right here okay the we just go add copy this one of course into a project and then in your main window the XML copy this one and then of course the uh, compiler is going to do the rest for us so this is it guys of course to run the project once you've saved you just can click start and then this is going to run for us our project very fast okay so this is it make sure you guys like this video stay tuned because we're going to do be doing a lot of more WPF tutorials and like the video share it if you haven't subscribed so you want to make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of our tutorials otherwise find the source code in our website kamposha.info we'll leave a link below and take care i'll catch you in the next class